Today on Garden Fork, learn how to make an easy grow light stand. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. We're in our workshop today. The Labradors are really restless. But I wanted to show you how to make a grow light stand for your homemade grow lights. Uh, we make a video about some DIY cheap grow lights, which is one of our most popular videos on YouTube. And um, I wanted to show you how to make a stand for those grow lights. So this is a DIY grow light rig or stand or setup, whatever you want to call it. If you want to watch how we made our grow light, we have a video about that and there'll be a link below here and a link at the end of the video for that one as well. All right. This is our DIY grow light rig. Really cheap to make, really simple. I have a video about that. But I wanted to show you is a way to take this, instead of like having to hang it from the ceiling or get in somebody's way, we're going to build a stand to hold this so you could move this out of the way. You could put it in a closet or a basement or something. A closet? Well, big closet. <laughs> but anyway, you can get it out of the way because what I've been guilty of is I used to hang this over the laundry counter and that was, I got in trouble. These grow lights are 48 inches wide, so I'm going to build a table that's 51 inches wide because I want to be able to fit this over the table. So go get some scrap plywood. I just found plywood laying around. You could go dumpster diving, uh, but I don't think you need to go to the store to do this, okay? Here's some plywood I cut up into a nice little piece. That'll be at the top. And then here I cut up some 2x4s, scrap 2x4s I had to make the base. I thought you were making another boat. We're going to make another plywood boat, but that was a really great video. These are 48 inches, and these are 15 inches. Uh, I pre-drilled on the ends here some pilot holes for our screws. Now what a pilot hole does is it allows you to put the screw in much easier, and it goes, and it goes right in. So a pilot hole is with a drill bit that's slightly less than the diameter of your screws. A lot of your uh, screw guns have a pilot drill bit and a screw bit very nicely together. So that pilot one is littler? Yep. The little side. Well, the pilot hole is the drill bit. It has a drill bit here yeah. to do your, drill, your pilot holes, and then it has a Phillips bit to screw them in. So we're going to build our frame. This is scrap 2x4. You could use 1x3s, really anything to make a wooden frame and they all need to be the same kind of wood ideally. It doesn't look too hard. No, nah, this is really easy. I'm using drywall screws. Um, this doesn't have to be bulletproof. This is just a very simple wooden base. It doesn't have to be earthquake proof. We're just going to grow some plants on it. It might need to be straight. Yeah, well, that happens. Twisting happens. I think it's because you said the word earthquake. Yeah. All right, this is our plywood top. This is called OSB kind of plywood, oriented strand board, but use what you got, all right? Wait, what's the OSB stand for? Oriented strand board. This is chipped up wood from, I think, logging and lumber making operations. It's wood chips that they press with glue and make into plywood. What's you don't want to make a plywood boat out of this, but it's perfect for a grow light stand. What's orienting mean? Um, I don't know. I just, I love oh, it. Uh, orient the strand board. It just sounds like I know what I'm talking about. Ah. All right. One screw and the corner here. <laughs> and then go to the far end and square this up. He just learned that. I just forgot to tell you that. Now we're going to put the support arms that hold the grow light on the ends of our grow light base here. All right. So again, pilot holes I drilled in here. This goes on the end. Three screws in the bottom of your light holder upper thing. We're going to put this in the center of our base and then put in the middle screw. Okay. Don't put in the other two yet. Okay. Use a square to make sure that the upright is square to the base. Finish nail on the top of each one of these. What's a finish nail? Uh, it's a nail that doesn't have a big head on it. It's got a little head. All right, ready to take our 
grow light and put it in our grow light stand. <laughs> See how that fits nicely in between the two uprights? Yes. And they're nice and sturdy uprights, they're not going anywhere. All right, we're going to take the end of our chain. Oh, the chain's too big. Oh, we're doing that reverse thing again. Yeah, time machine. <laughs> right, I have a smaller finish now that I'll go through the chain. Oh, you tested it. Yeah, I tested it. If all those fails, read directions, you know. And now I'm going to put these on the side. It'll work a little better than on the top. You're changing the model already? Yeah. All right, we take the end of our chain, hook it over the screw eye, and then we're going to lift this up and hang this just like that. Just pop it through there. Huh? Let us in no time. It's great. So again, watch our video about how to build the grow light itself, and then this grow light stand works perfectly. Uh, as far as the choice of bulbs, I just use cool whites. There's all sorts of discussion about what bulbs to use. But whatever bulbs you use, use the same bulbs in each fixture. If you mix up the bulbs for each fixture, you're gonna uh, the ballast won't last as long. That's the transformer thing that makes the whole thing light up. I was gonna ask. And again. With your seed trays, you want the light right on top of them. You want the light as close as you can to those leaves. If you put the light too far up, all your plants will get spindly. These are some of our paper pots that we showed you how to do in another Garden Fork show. Um, we'll give you a link to that. But this again, this would be perfect. You just put these right under the light, you're good to go. Super easy to do. I didn't buy anything here. I just, everything I had laying around in the workshop. If you don't have it, ask one of your friends. Maybe they have some stuff you could use. All right, there you go. We have a whole bunch of how to start your seeds videos on our site, gardenfork.tv. If you want to sign up for our email newsletter, send an email to news at gardenfork.tv or click on the link below. Uh, please subscribe if you're watching on iTunes or YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. That'd be great. Again, super simple. Let me know what you're doing. If you build one of these, take a picture and send it to me. This is like light therapy for me. I mean, it's like, you know, it's the middle of winter, there's no light, and this is like one of those light therapy lights for me. We so, could put your bed down here. Yeah, <laughs> except it's freezing in the basement. All right, make it a great day. See you later.